I refuse to be bullied as so many others have been. I refuse to be backed into a corner where I silence my natural aversion to mass human suffering. I will not be bullied by organizations that have an umbilical relationship with the Israeli embassy. The Israel lobby is attempting to remove my music from Spotify. This organization is lobbying Spotify, claiming that my music incites violence, um, particularly the use of the word intifada. These people are not linguists. The word intifada, or intifada, the verb, is not something that they are experts in. I'm sure they are well aware that to try and argue it in a court of law would be very difficult indeed. However, their judgment is that the regulatory space exists in Spotify for this type of justification in a way to help deprive me of a platform as other Israel pressure groups and Israel lobby groups with clear connections to the Israeli embassy are attempting to do in other ways and across the board, not just to me, but to most, if not all, public supporters of the Palestinian cause and those who assert the sanctity of Palestinian humanhood. Israel practices a formal system of discrimination in terms of the law against Palestinians. Now that would fit quite comfortably with the United Nations official definition of apartheid. What is happening to me is an extension of a policy which is practiced upon the Palestinians. This is a lose-lose situation for them because if they succeed in taking down my music from Spotify, then as the book burners of the past found, they amplify the ideas in the long run of that writer.